Well guys, summer is here. Um, starting to hear it all the time now already. People are saying rosé all day. So what did I do? I went out and got us a bottle of Texas grown rosé. This is a dry rosé, but we will not be drinking it today. Why? I made a really nice steak, and with steak, I love red wine. So I went and got this, Gran Passione Rosso. Uh, breaking the name down really quickly, Gran is great, Passione, as you might guess, is passion, and Rosso, we already know, means red. So, great red passion. And when we're passionate about something, we really believe in it, and we want others to believe in it too, like we do. So one of the things in the Veneto region uh, that the Italians are very passionate about is doing things old school. So this wine is made in a pretty special way. Uh, it's a word called a passamento, which means to dry or, or to, to make it like a raisin. So they, what they do is they take the, a percentage of the wine grapes and they dry them in the sun. And then they mix them in with the regular grapes and continue the winemaking process, which imparts a pretty unique flavor. Um, as you may think when you dry out raisin, um, you know, grapes into raisins, it has that different type of um, you know, sweetness to it. it may, sometimes it has like a leathery flavor. So when we open this up, um, we'll, we'll, find, we'll find out whether that holds true for this wine. Um, we do know uh, that a passamento is something that the Romans did. So this is a really old uh, way to make wine, which is great. I'm really excited to taste it. Uh, one of the other things that um, we start to, you know, I've never heard anybody say, I'm going to go to the Veneto region of Italy. It's always Tuscan. People who drink red wine, they go to Tuscany. Well, up in the north, uh, Veneto, which is, you know, think Venice, uh, Verona. So that uh, very northern, very eastern um, part of Italy, they're doing things um, that make very, very special wines. They also make Amarone and Valpicella, which actually started this whole thing. Uh, with the, the wine videos. So they're doing some really, really great stuff. And, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to be um, equally as impressive. Um, so this bottle's a you know, 10 to $15 range bottle. At $10, you're, you're basically robbing them <laughs> for $15. That's probably what you'd expect to pay. So uh, be on the lookout, total wines. Um, one of the other things really quickly, as I'm gonna open this thing right now, um, I got a lot of questions about, you know, pulling this top off. Some folks had trouble doing it. And you're not going to be able to get every single one of them off. But if you still don't want to use the razor or, or a knife to open this, you could just do this. You know, just get, screw this thing right in here. And we're on. So we'll just pull some of this off here really quickly. This is all a lot better than struggling with the sharp uh, blade trying to get this thing off. All right, so there we are. Got my glass here. We can tell this one's gonna be a good one. Yeah, you could definitely smell the raisins. And some kind of berry. Let me just give this a little swirl. really, really nice alcohol ring on it. You can see it that way, just at the top next to the bubbles. So this wine is actually 60% um, Mer Merlot and 40% Corvina, which is a, an Italian grape. So my guess is they probably dry out the Corvina and leave the Merlot alone, or it could be reversed, who knows. Let's have a, let's have a sip. So I don't know if I mentioned that this wine is aged in oak for four months. And you can definitely get some oak out of here. I'm also getting that raisin, I'm getting maybe perhaps cocoa or, or some sort of dark berry. It's a very um, fruit forward, uh, semi-dry. It's actually probably closer to a dry red than it is a, um, a sweet one. But this is really nice. I mean, man, for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong with this. 
This would also go really well with any sort of red sauce, pizza, pasta. Heck, I drink this with anything. I would uh, highly recommend it. Gran Passiono Rosso. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. And it says 14% uh, alcohol content. So very, very nice wine. Until next time, I gotta go and enjoy my steak and finish off the rest of this bottle.